Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. My name is Louise and today I thought we would set up my new Olive Traveler's Notebook. Now I'm a bit late in this. I know that heaps of other people on lots of other channels have done it in the initial rush of excitement when they were first released. Uh, however, I was lucky enough to get mine for Mother's Day, which was just a couple of weeks ago here in Australia. And uh, then uh, last weekend, it was my birthday and my family very nicely gave me the um, uh, four off. Uh, this was a collaboration between this company here and the Travelers Factory of an olive cotton uh, a zipper insert. Uh, so I've been waiting uh, to have the time to sit down and enjoy putting my, uh, setting up my, my olive uh, notebook. Now what I want to use this one for is... I want to put my ink swatching uh, insert in here because I was keeping it in a different one. I was keeping it in my uh, Travelers uh, Company Hotel Edition uh, journal, which also has my washi tape swatches insert and also has my mixed media, um, or not my mixed media, rather my media insert where I um, review books and movies and TV shows and things that I've watched, audio books, etc. And it was just getting a bit thick with this uh, extra insert in there to make ink swatching uh, comfortable <laughs> and, uh, and effective. So I thought I would dedicate uh, my new olive journal purely to that. Now what I love about my particular olive is that it's a lovely olive color on the front and the back but the spine is quite um, scuffed up and it has this real um it's you've, you've almost got not quite a kalamata <laughs> olive going to a green olive but a dark a darker olive going to a lighter green olive on the middle like a real golden yellow and uh yeah so i thought it would be fun to swap out the original olive elastic that came with it for a different color uh, now I'm going to take this insert out. This is just the standard blank uh, white MD paper insert that came with the journal. Uh, so I'm going to take that out anyway. I'll just remove the bookmark. See, it's so new. I haven't even opened it. I ha it's not even the bookmark hasn't even been removed yet. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. I'll put that in my collection of blank ones. And I'm going to remove this one out. And I was just wondering what colour that I wanted to put on there for the elastic. This is the insert that I'm using at the moment, which I've covered with a, uh, a napkin. Uh, of these little birds and I am leaning towards either this blue or this sort of mustardy golden yellow color and in fact I think I'm going to go for this one now this is just the traveler's notebook repair kit uh, number 009 which um, this is the old version. I think they have a new version which has an uh, olive elastic in there as well. And it has the spare bands. It has two different 
uh, strings like this bookmark string it has a replacement of this tin uh, fastener and it's got some comprehensive instructions in it as well in both Japanese and English so we shall put that to one side and I am going to use this as the indication of how long I should cut a piece of elastic so I'm just going to measure that up and I keep all my elastics if I've swapped them out and everything um, in a safe place eh, there we go so and I'll put that away neatly I'll put that away neatly and I'm going to thread this one through and it had quite a decent uh, uh, excess there of the elastic on the other side of the knot so I'm just kind of trying to replicate that from memory I think it was about roughly that but you know the beauty of elastic is that you can always change it so let's put um, oh, the first thing I want to do is I want to put this uh, insert in and what I want to put in here is if I get any uh, ink swatching cards or um, those sorts of things I want to put that in there and uh, one of my newly acquired pen pals uh, Jane has uh, sent me in a couple of her letters uh, what she has currently inked. A Jane actually includes uh, where she puts the name of the pen, the nib and what ink is in it and I thought it would be uh, interesting to keep those in here as well uh, so that if I'm looking for a particular ink in a particular colour um, I'll have a set of uh, her uh, prepared earlier <laughs> swatches uh, for me in here so yes I'm going to put the zip at the back now I'm not overly worried about the color of this folder rubbing off on this however I have scotch guarded this so <laughs> I think if you if you are concerned about that if you uh, aren't keen on potential leather dye transfer to any of your cotton uh, zipper inserts uh, then yeah you should definitely scotch guard them now if you already have some leather dye transferred onto one of these I do have a video showing you how you can clean that off without ruining it uh, so uh, I will link that up here you know usual usual spot now I just need to find the middle this is the lightweight paper insert which I really like uh, doing my ink swatches in here uh, because it is very close to the Tamoe River paper writing paper that I like to use when I'm writing to my pen pals to obviously uh, keep the weight of the mail down but also because it, it, it really displays fountain pen ink very attractively <laughs> so you get the most you get the most out of that now I'm just going to place that in there like that and so I really like how all these rather earthy colors work together um, I know some people have been a bit disappointed about the color of the zip uh, here uh, I don't actually mind it I think it works quite well and it does work well in particular for this insert which I have covered with a sort of a beigey looking um, paper anyway so I think that all kind of works 
quite nicely together and uh, I need to put my bookmark in so let's see how it looks with this uh, goldeny yellowy mustardy elastic oh yes okay I like that <laughs> yeah yep happy with that choice and the other thing I want to add on is uh, this little charm this was given to me quite a few years ago now by a delightful lady in the journaling community she's very active on instagram she's part of the southeast queensland journal keepers group and that's uh, rosamond uh, she's also an amazing watercolor artist uh, i will leave a link to her instagram handles in the description box but she gifted me this beautiful little charm for my very first traveler's notebook that i acquired um, which became my tea journal and it still is my tea journal and uh, and then when i saw her recently at our meetup she gave me uh, two beautiful ceramic charms uh, a teapot and a teacup and uh, so i have put them onto my tea journal and I have kept this aside but I'm going to put this charm on this journal and I'm going to hang it on the spine uh, because I just pop it there like that I think because when I have it on my shelf so let's pretend this is my shelf it sits there like that which I think looks the the um, goldy color of the charm and the olivey light olivey goldeny green of the spine and the goldeny yellow elastic i think that all looks really nice together um, i might even if i have enough i might even replace this elastic with this same color but um, i just want to sit on that and use it a bit first and see how i go so that is my little Olive Traveler's Notebook Setup. So, some other things I want to share with you are some of the other very thoughtful, lovely gifts that my family were kind enough to give me for my birthday. Uh, so, one is this. Now, they gave me two so that I have one and a spare one. And all the instructions are in Japanese, but I have consulted Mr. Google. And this is a, it's like one of those kneadable erasers, but it is actually for cleaning off your rubber stamps. So you leave it in this little case and so that, cause it's quite, um, it's quite pliable, right? And it's for taking the ink off your stamps and then folding it over. And yeah, so you don't get any lint on your stamps. It's probably a bit more um, environmentally friendly than using things like baby wipes, which I know is very popular. Um, I have a stamp cleaner, which is a big fold out. Um, it's the Tonic studio stamp cleaner which has um, like you spray stamp cleaner on one side and it's like a doormat for stamps essentially and you rub it on the wet side and then you rub it on the dry side and that cleans your stamps however not very portable uh, whereas this is the perfect sort of on the go stamp cleaner uh, that you can just pop into your um, your stationary pouch or your case or your pencil case or whatever you use um, to take around with you so as you can see on this demonstration it has this is four so it's all inky and this is after and of course because it's kneadable you can push it down into the into the cracks of the design so um, I will try and do a demonstration of this um, I just want to keep going through so my other lovely gifts that uh, I was lucky enough to receive. Um, another one was, I'll, probably, I'll take this out of the pack so it's probably very glary and nobody wants to see that. Oh, of course, the thing's shiny as well. <laughs> 
sorry. <laughs> um, I'll just put it in one spot and hope that works. Okay, so I've had my eye on these stamps for a while. This is the um, Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz collection, and this is called Worn Text. So it comes with the set of capitals and the lowercase and some numbers. And I really like this look for doing um, title pages in journals and travel journals and so forth. So I might, I think I'm going to use this one for my May uh, memory keeping a journal that we can have a look because, uh, yeah, we can do the, the numbers and, and uh, write the month as well so I've had my eye on these stamps for a very long time um, but they, they are quite pricey because everything Tim Holtz is quite pricey um, yes yeah, so that was a really nice birthday gift to receive and last but by no means least uh, which I was really 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 hoping for fingers and toes crossed well not really um was this now you might think my god didn't we go through this earlier in the year with all the pen pouches and the um the lee hit lab and then being replaced with anjou and all of that drama of the breakup and everything and you would be right, but where you would be incorrect is that this is not a pen case. This is actually a Hobonichi Arne. Uh, they refer to it as a drawer. And uh, even though I only have my Hobonichi notebook, I don't do a Hobonichi um, planner. Uh, I really liked this concept of this draw because it is for keeping paper and ephemeras and stickers and sticker sheets and washi samples and everything organized when you are on the go and look if 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 you know me you know that I'm the sort of person I love traveling and until the last couple of years whenever I went somewhere I was I was almost planning the next trip whilst I was on the current trip <laughs> not quite not quite I would generally think about it on the plane trip home because you know that really long plane trips where you know you're kind of on the go for 36 hours and it's not much fun um, it is more fun if you start thinking about where you want to go next in the world and uh, yes yeah, so this is the uh, Hobonichi pouch Arne size uh, A-N-E and uh, I directed my family to a link on Amazon so I don't know whether they got that there or not but uh, it, they are available then Hobonichi has a shop through Amazon as well but as you can see there is a pocket on the outside there is another big pocket on the inside and then in the front of that you have one two three four five six card slots so you know perfect for popping in little tickets and all sorts of things labels where's label um you know and of course they're um like credit card size so if you have washi samples you can pop them in as well paper scraps then you have a zip well you also have this space in the middle here um, which you probably could put a couple of pens in but it's not really necessary if you're also having a pen case then you have a zipped pouch here for maybe smaller things or things that might get uh, lost and then on the other side of that you have another two longer pockets so still sort of quite shallow but longer than the card slot uh, pockets and you can see here it has the Hobonichi um, label as well and of course you've got another sort of central piece here central spot here and then another one 
and then it kind of repeats again where you have another six of those credit card sized slots and another pocket again so I think I cannot wait um, this will probably be a video later in the year um, before we hopefully head away again where I am very keen to set this up and see how much sort of like paper ephemera and um, flat pack washi tape and you know that you should be able to get sticker sheets in here and all those sorts of things and still be able to quite um, close it up to be quite compact and that together with you know a traveler's notebook I did also scotch guard this <laughs> um, with a traveler's notebook and a I'll just grab in my Anjou here for uh, ease of demonstration and you know a pen case like that and hopefully that will be quite a comprehensive um, little kit or setup um, yeah anyway that's for another time another time um, when uh, later in the year but yes so um, what do you think are any of those things catching your eye moving onto your wish list as we speak <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> not really um, let's just do a little stamp and clean this off so that we can see how how effective it is I just want to put like a little let's just do I've got this little set of frames here um, let's just grab one of those and I've still got my May stamp out because I've got to do my May memory keeping. So let's just do a little stamp and clean it off. You can see that's how it is at the moment. It's not the cleanest. It's a little grubby, but it's not um, blue. So I'll use blue ink and then we'll see how effective this uh, rubber stamp cleaner is. I'm making sure I get lots of ink on that. Yep, that's all inked up. Try and get it in the middle. That's not too bad, is it? Okay, so maybe I should have done like red ink or something. Let's now, so what does it say? You sort of have to press on it. Clean. Okay, I'll push a bit harder. Okay, and then what we'll do to see if this has worked or not is we'll flip it over and see if there's any ink residue left. No, none. That's pretty cool. I wonder how it would go with that much darker ink. Let's try that because this one's quite pale. Okay, this is a dark. Um, What's this one called? Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> okay, so I'll just get another piece of paper. I might do this one on here. And it's alright, I keep using May because funnily enough, May will come around again next year. Yeah, so you can see that's so much darker than that ink. So this we'll see how this goes okay yeah and it's still quite um, dark on the stamp so we get our little needy thing
then I think you have you meant to kind of like cover up like knead it into where you've stamped or pressed rather because I don't know how much I really need to to do it okay so now the trick is to try and get it back into the shape that it fits in the container <laughs> squish 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 she goes okay so let's see if we got all the ink off hey hey Yep, that's just the showing through from the other side. But yeah, no, there's nothing there. No. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> and yeah, so you just have it in your little packet. And then, you know, when you're traveling and you're fancy and you've done all your stamping, and then you might just, you know, pop it down there. So, what do you think? At this point, I will say thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one of these things were your favourite items. The Olive TN, the Canvas uh, Zipper Pouch, the Hobonichi Drawer, the Stamp Cleaners, the worn text stamps and I shall see you next time